This was not the Republican Party changing their opinion. This was not the Democratic Party changing their opinion. This was Americans changing their opinion in significant ways. What if we could actually select a fully representative sample of the entire country and then give them the space and the time to sit down and with nuance deeply discuss those issues? We were cautiously optimistic, but I, just to admit, I was, I was a little scared because we were gonna bring together people that would have never otherwise met, people with radically different political opinions. So we were worried that uh, people would, would get rowdy. We were worried about violence. We were worried about all of these different things that the television screen tells us is happening in our country. And the thing that brought us uh, to tears was that the exact opposite happened. People changed their minds in respectful and nuanced ways which again is not something that we think uh, when we watch TV and we, and we look at social media. So after those three days of deliberation and nuanced discussion, we saw a lot of compromise. And oftentimes compromise ends up chopping off more extreme left or right opinions politically and pushes you into the center. I think one thing that's really worth stressing is that we saw radical changes up to 40% on both political parties. When somebody gives you a controverting view right in front of you with other people around, you have to really look at it, face it, and accept it rather than denying it. I think the, the deliberation was very healthy because, you know, in social media, we hide behind, you know, our devices and we can say a lot of things we're passionate about when we can hide behind social media. But when you have to look at the controverting views or the opposing individuals, sometimes that same person wouldn't say, wouldn't say what they would type. They wouldn't say what they would write. But I thought it was a great platform and I think it was a great measure, uh, measurement of where we are in America. I communicate with someone right now that I know 
when we went to Texas, we were far apart in our social and our um, political views. We agree to disagree, but their views have, have softened a lot. Their views, I'm sure coming into this, would have been a lot more uh, supporting of the president than they have been in the last couple of weeks. That in itself shows me there was a change. There's nothing special about this event. There's no technology that we used um, that is proprietary or inaccessible. We just got people around a table and we had them talk with nuance and respect. And this can happen all over the United States and all over the world. It doesn't require technology, it just requires a table and people sitting around that table and discussing an issue with nuance. It is how democracy should be functioning. It's how the Founding Fathers envisioned democracy to function.